Royal Beef Snobs, it's Ed Link, your chief beef snob at Barham's Ozark Beef, and here we're going to talk about the reverse sear. So I thought we're getting into the weekend, it's freezer Friday, so let's talk about cooking steaks. And so what I have here are three steaks. I've got a top sirloin, a tenderloin, and a New York strip. Uh, they've been thawed out overnight in the refrigerator and then left to set out for a few hours before I go to cook. Um, and so I put them, uh, before I put them on the rack, I season them with just salt and pepper. I don't do a whole lot of seasoning. You'll see people that cover their steaks and seasoning. I like the taste of our beef and I don't feel like I need a lot of seasoning, but a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, just to give it some taste um, and maybe a little bit of a crust, but I, you know, I don't even really go for the crust as much as some folks do. So I may be a little bit different. I'm not a chef, I'm not a professional cook, but this is how I do it and I thought I'd share with you. So once I get them seasoned a little bit, I put them on a raised rack, um, and then I'll put these thermometers in them. It's an iWeber. I bought it at Haynes Ace Hardware here in Conway, Arkansas. And that way I can track the temperature of each steak as I'm cooking. So if I need to pull one earlier because it's reaching temperature earlier, because there's a different thickness in the steak, then I can do that without overcooking or undercooking uh, any of the steaks. So I put them in the oven. Um, I, I chose 300 degrees on this round. I've done it at 275, 350. Um, you know, all I'm concerned about is the temperature of the meat. Um, I don't keep up with how much time that I'm cooking. So if you ask me how long do I put them in the oven for, I don't even remember. It might have been 20 minutes, you know, give or take 10 minutes. Uh, but I'm purely looking for the temperature to get to that that level that I'm looking for. And if and if you don't know, just search online the different cook temperatures for steak. Uh, you know, whether it's medium, medium rare, you know, whatever your preferred temperature is. So once I get those out, I will let them rest for just a little bit and, 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 and just cool off some because I don't want to continue cooking when I put it on the grill to sear. Uh, so I heat up an iron skillet uh, or cast iron skillet and, and then I sear each one of them, I don't know, probably 15, 20 seconds on each side. You know, the tenderloin's got more thick sides, so I might, you know, uh, dance around with that a little bit. But the top sirloin in New York Strip, usually it's just one side, one side. And then I'll hit the uh, the fatty side of the uh, of the New York Strip to try to render some of that. So, because it can be tough, but if you render it right, um, and it'll, it'll take some experimenting, but it does uh, soften up quite a bit. So, you know, I pulled them off, they're done, they're ready to go. I let them rest for a good uh, 10 minutes. Uh, just so that all the juices kind of expand back out into the steak. Uh, you'll notice all the juices on that plate. And, you know, I went to a steakhouse. I won't say where because I don't want to talk bad about anybody. Uh, but when I cut to the steak, there wasn't any juice at all. You know, with our steaks, you will see a ton of juice. Uh, and you know it's good, high-quality meat uh, whenever you see that. So when I cut them up, you know, as you can see, uh, for me, that was the temperature I was looking for. I was looking for a medium, maybe a little bit, slightly medium rare. And uh, man, we, our whole family just tore these dudes up and they were outstanding. And, uh, and I hope you are also enjoying our steaks. Um, you know, I've talked to some people about the reverse here because uh, I know for me, just for me, when I was just cooking on the grill, I overcooked everything and it was a nightmare. And I'm talking hundreds of dollars worth of steaks before I finally heard about this reverse sear deal and started doing that. So thaw them out, season them, put them on a raised deal so it cooks underneath, uh, put them in the oven for as long as it takes to get the temperature you like, sear them on an iron skillet, let it rest, and then enjoy your Barm's Ozark beef steaks. And as always, you can go to beefsnob.com to learn more about us and to order uh, and then I'll be coming out with a schedule of our upcoming events here soon. So if you want to come out and shop the trailer, you can. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and for being beef snobs. We really appreciate you uh, as our customers and as our fans. And uh, we look forward to supplying you with beef for many, many years to come.